What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So I finally got a chance to check out Cryo Utilities 2.0. I know this came out a couple of weeks ago. There's a lot of great videos out there already for this, testing a lot of games. And I've seen some interesting improvements when it comes to some performance stuttering and load time. So I definitely want to get into how to get this set up here on the channel. So the first thing we're going to do is over on game mode, make sure that if you haven't run trim in a while, um, that you go ahead and do that. It will help the process when you go to use cryo utilities later. So I went ahead and ran this. Mine hadn't been running a little while. It didn't take too long to do. Um, and then that allowed me to have cryo utilities do its thing pretty quickly. And we'll, we'll talk about that more when we get further into the video. So I advise doing that ahead of time if you haven't already. Now we're going to go over to desktop mode. Now here in desktop mode, another thing, if you've not already set a user or pseudo password, this is something you're going to need as well when you launch Cryo Utilities after it's installed. So if you have your password, great. If you haven't set one yet, you can click here and you can go ahead and set up yourself a password. Make sure you remember what it is so that you can use it. But anyways, make sure you do that first. So I like to do the trim thing in game mode and I like to go ahead and make sure the password's set up, ready to go here in desktop before we do anything. Now over in Cryo Utilities, there's another thing you're gonna, gonna wanna do with VRAM. If you've been watching my channel, you know I do like to run four gigs of VRAM, which has changed over into BIOS and this is the only manual thing that you need to do. So we're gonna shut down and then we're gonna hold the up volume button turn on power and keep holding that up button. This is gonna bring us to our boot menu where we can get into the BIOS and make the necessary change. So here we go. We're into our boot menu. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom us in here. We're gonna go over to setup utility. This is gonna bring us into our BIOS and you can see your main page right here. We're gonna to wanna to go down to advanced and then we're gonna scroll over and go to UMA frame buffer size. This is defaulted to one G. We're gonna change that to four to give us the max dedicated VRAM amount and that's one of the only things that you need to do manually for cryo utilities. Other than that, it's going to take care of everything else. So you're going to want to open up your browser and go over to the Steam Deck Utilities page for Cryobyte 33. I'll have a link in the description and also to his video. He's got a fantastic video if you want to get much deeper in understanding this utility. So I'll link that and also support Cryobyte 33 in any way that you can for such great work. But we're going to go down here to the install section. I'm going to right click this and go to save link as... And just to make things fairly easy on myself, I'm gonna go ahead and install this right out on the desktop so I can just double click it and install it once we're done. So I'll change this over to desktop. We'll go ahead and click save and we'll get that downloaded ready to go. And then you can just minimize or close out your browser once your download is finished. All right, now I have installed Cryobyte Utilities. I'm gonna double click on this and then that's gonna go ahead and automatically open up. I'm gonna go ahead and continue. It's gonna open up console, which I don't have expanded yet. I'll, I'll do that here in just a second, but it's gonna go ahead and do a little download here. And I'll just, just all real time, it's very fast install for the Crow utilities here. All right, we'll maximize this. And by the time I do, it's already finished up in the console and it'll tell you your install or your upgrade is complete for cryo utilities. All right, now we have everything installed, ready to go, ready to open up and apply all the settings here. So let's go over and open up cryo utilities. We'll just double click this and you'll get a little pop up uh, about their responsibility and damage and that type of thing. Just read through that. I'm going to click yes. And here's where you'll need that password we were talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and put my password in here. And now we're into cryo utilities. Now on the first page for home here, you've got recommended settings, which is cryo bytes recommended, which is what we're going to use. And you can also easily just go right back to stock settings if you want to do that as well, which is great for testing back and forth or uh, if you're having any issues. Now the things in red here are the things that need to be changed or haven't been optimized yet. So I haven't run the recommended settings yet. And you can see here everything just in the red. Now over in storage, we have sync game data and delete game data. We'll come back to that here in just a minute. And then V RAM is in the green because you can see we've already changed that over to that 4G in the BIOS from one. Otherwise, that would be in the red and it would say one gigabyte. So we did that ahead of time, makes things a little bit easier. I'll click the recommended. And this is the part that if you already did the trim to your SSD will go much faster. So we're done there. Now, if you look at these again, we are changed over to the green settings showing that we are optimized here for cryo utilities. Very quick, very easy to do this. You can do everything manually as well if you really wanna tweak things. And again, 
Cryobytes video that I will link in the description goes over all of that in depth if you want to go check that out. Now for sync game data, I don't have an SD card in here, but if you did, sometimes when you install and run games, data gets put on the SSD and SD, and this will move it all off or one way or the other uh, or over to your SD to clear up space and, and keep that all together. Pretty cool and handy thing. And then we also have clean or delete game data. So you'll see games that have been uninstalled or whatever the case here, stale game data, and you can either click and choose and pick what you would like to remove here, or you could simply delete all uninstalled. Um, and it's just kind of helpful to clear up a little bit of space and a pretty safe way to remove some stuff. So I'll just delete all uninstalled here, very quick process, and then that'll finish up. So we'll click yes. And there we go, process complete. And that's Cryobyte or uh, Cryo Utilities 2.0, basically very simple. Once you get everything in and installed and getting things maximized so that you can hopefully get the most out of your game. So let's take a quick look at just one game. Hogwarts Legacy, unfortunately, I didn't get much improvement in this game. I have seen others say or show that they've gotten five, six, seven FPS difference in some areas. And I will say that even though these areas I tested pretty much had the same performance, though I will say frame times and stuttering was better over with Cryo Utilities on. So I may not have seen a huge increase in FPS, but the game did feel a bit better in a lot of the harder to run areas. I will say in the castle and some other areas, I did feel like there were times I hit 60 FPS more often than I used to, but I'll definitely have to do a lot more testing when it comes to the games. I've seen some great charts and videos out there showing some good improvements in a lot of games, so I'm definitely going to be testing Crowd Utilities on quite a few games, and I have some future videos here coming out where we'll really get in and see what kind of performance gains we can get using and not using crowd utilities in different games. In Hogwarts, again, I didn't see a lot of difference, but it was a bit of a cleaner experience with what I felt like was some more FPS here and there, but definitely a little bit smoother, maybe some better frame times. But anyways, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video, how to set up and get going with crowd utilities 2.0 and a quick little look at Hogwarts here. And I'll definitely have more videos testing out performance differences for this in the future. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video as always. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.